Hi, this is Sai Morton with the daily update on Eurofix. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the forexpsami.com forum weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation of the currency markets and should help you to stay on top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit forexpsami.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Welcome back everybody, let's take a look again on the Bitcoin market. So here performance stands very quiet. This market is calling around the lows of the August month. So on the weekly chart and the monthly chart, we even do not have any changes. So market, as you can see, has broken for the flag consolidation, shows the tail close in August and stands below the trend line. So we do not see fast return right back up and return back in the flag, which means that the sentiment uh, bearish sentiment st still stands invalid on the longer term charts. So currently, since the performance stands very quiet, we are interesting only with the daily intraday charts. On the daily chart, we have approximately the same consolidation in the shape of the flag as here, which also gives the hint on the possible downward continuation. You could see that even poor NDP recently uh, wasn't able to reverse the action and triggered the, some more or, late, more or less moderate pullback here. So market mostly shows no reaction standing in tight consolidation. The problem for the Bitcoin is that actually has, it, it has broken already all major support areas. It is not at the result. So maybe non-farm pros numbers could bring some volatility, especially if it will be some disaster numbers, really poor. In this case, maybe it could trigger some more or less uh, moderate pullback. But if it will be around the expectation or slightly even worse than expectation, hardly it makes any uh, impact uh, on the performance of the currency. So that's why uh, our suggestion is that more chances that market will keep going lower um, with the, our major uh, trading plan and tending to the major weekly targets. So in a sh very short term, uh, the only thing that bulls theoretically could consider, uh, although I actually have some big doubts that it really could happen, but still, take a look what we have here. The COP target stands very close, 19, 18 approximately, which is the ABCD COP that has not been reached. Retracement here, as we suggest, was small, just to the first level, although we said we consider this one or this conference as most probable levels where market could, could reach. And uh, potentially market could form the butterfly pattern to complete the COP. And uh, bulls, could consider for this butterfly and I think about maybe taking the long position but it would be better to place really tight stops just because overall context looks uh, and stands very bearish and uh, it's uh, at any moment uh, this market just could keep dropping but if you really would like to take the some position you could watch for this butterfly on the bottom and potentially on the hourly chart as we said yesterday if any reaction starts you could keep an eye on the possible head and shoulders here so it might be left shoulder head and if market will still start upper direction right from here to this area, it might be um, the pattern. Of course, it should be some fundamental background, maybe some news speeches from the Fed represents from somebody, some statistics or something of that sort. Uh, because that is actually the vital point for um, Bitcoin to form something uh, bullish. Uh, and if market will not form it right there, it means that actually no other options will exist because you can see that market stands around 1618 extension. This is typical for the hand and shoulders, even slightly lower. And it can't uh, form this stuff with a uh, moving lower, just because this is the final point where this pattern theoretically might be formed. And that's why this gives you some, well, some outpost, final outpost, the red line for any short term intraday bullish setup that you could consider. So that's the only thing that uh, bull theoretically could consider right now. Although, as I said, I have really big doubts that this passion will be formed. But anyway, um, let's see what will happen. For the others, uh, we could keep the short positions that we have. And uh, for taking the new positions, it would be better to wait for some pullback or clear signs of the possible downward breakouts. From, from that standpoint, it will be possible, uh, for instance, you also, also could watch for the butterfly. If market starts forming some pullback, you could use some FIB levels standing here to consider taking the short position as well. So currently, as you can see, we have really small information compared to the Thursday, uh, to the Monday analysis. It's actually market stands mostly in the same area.